Hi friend, I hope you are fine today. Today we are going to discuss a major rock farming mineral quartz. Quartz is a major rock farming mineral in sedimentary rocks, metamorphic and felsic igneous rocks. In sedimentary rock, it is most common in sandstone. We are going to discuss how we identify quartz in thin section. First of all, let us start our discussion from plain polarized light. In plain polarized light, quartz remain clear, colorless, with no cleavage. It is a non pleochroic mineral. It has very low relief. These are important characteristics for the identification of quartz in plain polarized light. In cross polarized light, it shows first order interference colors like gray and white. During rotation of stage, it changes its color from gray to white. That is known as extinction. Its color depends upon the thickness of thin section. A normal thin section with thickness of 30 micron show gray to white color on the rotation of stage. But if thickness is more than 30 micron, it can show blue, yellow and brown colors. On the other hand, Plagioclase and feldspar have almost same interference color and relief, but it can be differentiated by plagioclase and feldspar because plagioclase and feldspar have twinning surface, but quartz is untwin. The surface of quartz is clear and unaltered. On the other hand, feldspar and plagioclase contain inclusions and their surface is altered. If quartz and feldspar both have unaltered surface and untwinned surface, so in this case, we can differentiate feldspar from quartz in PPL mode on the basis of Becky line. In this case, as we know, quartz have relatively low relief as compared to feldspar, so Becky line will move within the quartz. Quartz have no cleavage. They contain fractures within the grains or crystal. These fractures indicate that forces were applied on the grain. So extinction angle within the quartz is not very indicative property for the identification of quartz. We can find two types of grains of quartz monocrystalline quartz or polycrystalline quartz. Polycrystalline quartz consists of aggregate of crystals. Monocrystalline quartz contains only one crystal within the grain. Deformed and stained quartz show undulous extinction and fractures. It can be used to find out provenance of sedimentary rock, especially sandstone. A grain in sandstone that has undulous extinction and polycrystalline quartz indicate that source of that grain is metamorphic rock. If a sandstone contains monocrystalline quartz, more likely to form by the igneous source. This is a thin section of sandstone in which quartz monocrystalline grains are present and this is a thin section of green schist fasci in which monocrystalline quartz is present. 
this is our thin section of quartzite